What is up guys, Sayyid here. In this video, I'll be showing you my top 5 paid CDR tweaks that I have seen compatible. Now, I have done uh, previous videos, also CDR tweaks of previous videos like uh, top 15 CDR, free CDR tweaks and also top 5 paid CDR tweaks uh, that I have seen compatible. I'll be leaving the link in the description. Do check out those tweaks also. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first Syria tweak that I'll be talking about is uh, called as iDynamic. Now this is available for free under Big Boss Repo. Now what this tweak actually does is that it creates a dynamic wallpaper. It adds a dynamic wallpaper onto your settings icon. For instance, as I'll be showing right now, as I want to keep the, all this. Uh, uh, three, three, seven dynamic wallpapers onto my uh, settings option. So what I do is that I just tick uh, check this right mark here, and uh, it will be giving you an instruction as to respring your device. And after respringing your device, I'll be showing you right now. You can you have to go into your settings and uh, reconfigure the dynamic wallpaper that you want onto your iDevice. As I'll be showing you right now. As you can see, you have to go into your settings and uh, wallpaper and brightness. And when you go into your dynamic wallpaper, as you can see, the dynamic uh, wallpapers have been changed. And through this, you can uh, make uh, create another dynamic wallpapers as as according to your wish. So this is a very handy tweak, nice tweak uh, to change the dynamic wallpapers uh, for for your iOS 7 devices. And also, the, there are some of the dynamic wallpapers that are paid. You can just go it and and unlock one by uh, one by one dynamic wallpapers or all the wallpapers at the same time. So do check out this tweak. It's free available under the Boss repo. The second CDR tweak that I'll be talking about is a call as a multi icon mover. Now this is available under Big Boss repo for 99 cents. What this tweak actually does is that it allows icons to move from one page to another, uh, multiple icons from one page to another by the name itself you can say that. So if you want to activate it you have to just press and hold and jiggle mode will be activated. Select the number of applications that you, you want to transfer one, from one page to another and go to, the, to that page that you want to transfer and then just click on home button. And as you can see the apps that I want to transfer are already transferred from one page to another so it's a very great tweak uh, uh, a must have tweak for all the iDevice users the third tweak that I'll be talking about is a call as swipe selection pro now what this tweak actually does is that when I go into my notes option as I'll be showing you right now uh, when I just swipe my keyboard nothing happens I have to just bring the magnifying glass uh, and uh, select the text that I want to erase now when you go into this option as a swipe selection pro as you can see you can just enable it and you can also set a triple tap the shift button to switch on or switch off the swipe selection uh, option and uh, also swipe area you can adjust from uh, from the whole keyboard to just the space bar or everything but the space bar you can just select it and also you can also set the sensitivity like for normal to reduced and also the swipe speed you can just uh, keep as slow as slower normal fast or fastest and also you can uh, make this swipe, three finger swipe gesture it's uh, uh, more convenient on the ipads uh, than the iphones so as i'll be going in my notes option and uh, as you can see when i just swipe the cursor the cursor moves itself as i'm showing you right now you don't have to press and hold and bring the mag magnifier to select the text uh, select the word that you want to erase you just have to click on it and uh, swipe uh, the keyboard and you can select the text and also when you just uh, hold keep on holding the shift uh, the shift option and just you can select as i'm showing you right now as you can see you can just select the option here the text uh, you can select the half of the text or you can select the full text so through this method swipe selection pro you can correct your uh, spelling mistakes uh, in an easy and convenient manner the fourth tweak that I'll be showing you is a free application called as uh, lock your apps. Uh, you can just lock your application in a free manner. Now this has an in-app purchase and uh, there is no settings to configure. You just have to go into your lock your apps option and you have to set a pattern for instance like I'll be setting a pattern. 
uh, okay so I have just set a pattern you can just uh, uh, key, uh, enable the applications that you want to lock for instance I want to just uh, lock my videos and uh, as you can see you on a free version you can lock three applications and if you want to buy a pro version you can lock as many applications as you would like for instance I have a locked photos and uh, also my mailbox and Facebook so as I'll be showing you right now when I just want to access my photos application you have to uh, press you have to keep uh, you have to just set up your pattern and your photos will be a uh, photos application will be unlocked so through this simple application you can single simple CDR tweak you can lock your applications uh, three applications uh, at the same time and also you can buy an in-app purchase you can make an in-app purchase uh, to buy this tweak CDR tweak and lock as many applications as you like so this is a very nice tweak uh, that you can that you can have on your iDevice so the last CDR tweak that I'll be talking about is uh, called as uh, app update manager now this is uh, available under mod my iRepo for $1.49 now with the introduction of iOS 7 auto updation of apps uh, has been brought into the uh, into iOS 7 so what this tweak actually does is that when you go into your settings and install the tweak you can see that app update manager is available and when you enable it you, you have many options to configure for instance AC power only minimum battery level or app settings for instance if you want to just update your apps and don't want to lose battery as much as you can you just uh, switch on the toggle as AC power only what this does is that when you connect your uh, phone to your dock or to your lightning cable uh, the updation of apps uh, takes place so it just saves battery life and also uh, this minimum battery level you can keep it uh, on any or 5% or 10% on 10% it will be uh, making the updation of the application on the required application and also when you go into your app settings you can just switch on the toggle as which app you want to update or which which app you don't want to update so this is a very simple tweak and a must have tweak for all the iDevice users uh, app update manager which is available under mod my iRepo for $1.49 these were my top 5 paid CDA tweaks that are iOS 7 compatible hope you guys like my video find my video full please do comment subscribe hit the like button and do follow me on Facebook Twitter Google Plus and Instagram and also do subscribe me for more tech related videos and more CDR tweaks that you want to see. Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.